Well, folks, we've reached the end of the semester, and uh, you should be working on diligently on your re research papers. Uh, I wanted to take one last lesson with you, and that is to make sure that everyone knows how to format their research paper. Um, I'm doing more on this than we probably need to, simply because I want to make sure that for those of you who don't have to take another English class, uh, that you do clearly understand um, what needs to be done. Alright, uh, we start with um, a title page. Now, be careful, there are instructors who are going to be very nitpicky. Um, you know, put this three quarters of an inch from here and this a half an inch from there and such, but all I ask is that you center your title in the middle of the page. If you want to incorporate pictures or anything like that, that's totally up to you, but for now I want this just a plain uh, title page. The title of your essay, or excuse me, your research paper, your English class and the section number, my name, your name, and the date that the paper is due. Now when we have finished that, um, it's important that all of your parts of your document, excuse me, all the parts of your research paper be inside one document. And in order to do that, um, there are some special steps that you need to take. Uh, once I have finished my title page. I can scroll a little bit down and I want to go to the insert page. In the insert page there's an area that is page break. Um, you would hit page break and that starts a brand new page, um, allows you to start a new page. Um, once you have started that new page, we're going to go here to, um, the reason we're, we're doing a page break is it creates a new document for each one, so you can change the page numbering. Title page does not have a number. Your um, outline page will be numbered using lowercase Roman numerals. And in order to do that, we are going to first come over here to page number. Um, you want to go to Format Page Numbers, and in this area we're going to tell it to start at page 1 and then Number Format, and you can see here are lowercase Roman numerals, and we would just set that up like that. Um, we then go to Page, excuse me, Page Number, top of the page, and create it, put your last name, next to the letter I, and that's basically all you need to do there. Um, this will allow you so that if you have more than one page, it will automatically number them for you. Alright, um, on this you're going to have a title. You have, you write the word words thesis, statement, and a colon, and then you actually write the one sentence that is your thesis statement. The sentence that tells what your research paper is going to be, the topic, the uh, subject of your research paper, and it also tells what your opinion is going to be, what your stand is going to be on your paper. Um, I have included for you a look at what uh, the outline might look like. Uh, if you have a number one, you must have a number two. Now if you have a three, you don't have to have a four, but you do need at least two. You can't have a list without two items on it. Alright, our first level is the paragraph level, and we will just write, you can do one of two things. You could write the topic sentence for each, these, each paragraph here, or you can just write a little phrase that tells what's going to be found in the first paragraph. Uh, you would then go capital A, capital B, and you provide your supporting details for that paragraph. Now, it's rare that you would need to go this far on this paper, but later on if you're doing bigger papers for people you may need to. So after a, capital A and B, you put a number one and number two, 
then lowercase a, lowercase b, and then we go Roman numeral 1 and 2. Um, I make, like to make sure you know how to do this, and if you are in fact um, doing this on your Microsoft Word, you can come here to multi-level list. And I actually had to recreate the list because it didn't do it the way I wanted it. And so I created my own list style. And I would just come here, select that number, and it will automatically uh, move me to that level. Or set it up for me. <coughs> now, if I am here, if I hit enter, it will automatically set up a new thing for me. Um, actually, let me go back one so that I can show you what up here. Um, go here and hit N. Now, if that's not where I want to be, I will just hit my tab button once and it will change and move it over there. So, Roman numeral one and then these supporting details. When the number two comes up, you just hit um, tab and it will give you A and then B. Alright, now you want to do the same thing that we did above which was to come back to insert. We're going to click on page break. Make sure there is page break in another section of the paper but this is the one that you need to use. If you don't use this one um, it won't allow you to actually change the page numbering format. All right, when we get into our actual research paper, um, we would again go to page number and then format page numbers and we change it to our one, two, three. And we start at number one and it will put it there. Um, your title goes in the center. You indent, you go to back to left and you indent and just start writing. You will continue on your document uh, for your work cited. Now, I, if you go to references, you can go to MLA and you select the seventh edition. You always want to use the most recent format. And each time you have a new site that you want, you're going to want to format. If you come here to Insert Citation, um, it add, odds, offers you Add a New Source. And under this, it allows you the option to select what type of source. And you just, once you've selected your source, um, article in a periodical, or let's go with article in a journal, and it will then set you up the information that you need to incorporate. Uh, medium, if you are, it's either a um, paper copy or it's going to be a, um, if you have a journal that's online, you would then use the web format, not the paper format. All right, the beauty of this is when I'm typing, and I get here, I can simply go to Insert Citation and add a placeholder and it will put the information for the, the site right here. So you don't have to type the author's name in or you don't have to type in the entire um, article name. Be careful, I did notice that it puts the entire article here and you really only need just if there's no author's name and you have to use the article number um, you need to make sure that um, you put just enough information that I can come to the works cited and find it. Alright and then when you finish your paper um, you come down here um, it will put works site you will go then to um, bibliography and then you select works cited and it will put it in for you and all the information that you got from your um, sources will be found here. 
It does unfortunately put works cited over here at the left margin so you will have to center it but it does do it as a hanging indent. And folks that's all that you really need to know in order to um, format your paper. I will also make a copy of this um, Word document for it. It's going to be Research temple, Template and that if you want to just copy and paste your research paper into this, you can do that. Or you can start with this and do your paper on top of it. All right, good luck, and if you have questions, you know where to find me.